Learning Arduino with Fretting Starter Kit by and with Stefan Hermann. Okay. Analog out. That's very interesting topic because by now we discussed only digital signals which can be on and off. But a lot of signals uh, around us are actually analog signals which are not just high or low, but which can be between, right? It's like it's like the knob at your stereo at home. This could be the, the value or the volume. Or if you have to dim your light at home, this all could be, these are all analog signals. So, Unfortunately, Arduino can't really give out analog signals, but it makes a little trick for that. And this is called the pulse width modulation signal. So what does this mean? Arduino is taking the channel and switching so, so many times a second the signal on and off that for us is a, it appears as a signal in between ground and five volt. So if you imagine this would be an LED, then I can switch it to high, then it is um, as bright as it could be, or I switch it to ground, to low, then it is off, or I can use this pulse with modulation signal um, and find the range in between and then it's faded. And if we take a look here at one of these time periods, then I have a, a time where the signal is switched off and a time where the signal is switched on and it's repeat all the time. And I could say, okay, I will have this 50-50% uh, or I can say, okay, I would like to switch it off just 20% of the time and 80% on, then this whole signal would appear as a higher signal. And Arduino can handle 256 steps of the signal, <coughs> of this pulse width modulation. So we can send a value from 0 to 225 how the signal should appear. So here, for example, we have a time period where the signal is switched on for a very short time and it becomes longer, 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 longer. And here we have the a switched off signal for a short time, but switched on for a long time. So if we take a look at the appearing signal, then it would start with ground and by five volt. And here we have everything in between. So we can make something like an analog signal. And if we have, for example, an LED, then it's switched so often times on and off that we can't see really the difference, but we see the difference in the brightness. All right, so let's look into the code. The analog out is, um, is using the command, which is called analog write. And it is like digital write, it gets a pin number and it gets a value. And as I said, the value can be from 0 to 0 to 225. So let's build something with that. Then you can see on the Arduino board, there are some ports which are marked, um, for example, with PWM or on the later Arduino boards, it is a little yeah, wave signal on there. So there are six pins on the Arduino board, which can be controlled by this analog PWM function. 
and it is pin number 11, 10 and 9 and 6, 5 and 3. Okay, so if you want to output an analog signal, then use one of these six channels. So in that simple case, I take this LED out and place a resistor, for example, here to this ground signal. It is actually not important on which side of the LED you have your resistor, it's only important that you have one. So, and the LED needs the ground signal and it needs the analog output. So this is here. Let's say it's orange. Okay. So that's a whole complicated circuit. And now let's see how this looks in reality. <coughs> so it's quite simple. Um, I take this LED and my resistor, this is here, and I would like to connect it to this ground. And I need somehow a ground signal from the Arduino. Oops. And I need the signal from the pin 9, digital pin 9. And now I will upload the fading code to the Arduino board. And nothing happens because this wire is not on this LED, so now it's better. So, and my LED is fading. Perfect. This episode was brought to you by fritzing.org, the free and open software for project documentation, sharing and PCB layout creation. Check out our PCB fabrication service Fritzing Fab. With the purchase of Fritzing products, you actively support the development of the Fritzing software. For more Arduino related questions, go to arduino.cc forum. Thanks for watching.